Hello students now we will be solving memory based questions of gate 19 for more video solution on gate 19 subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click bell icon for instant notification Hello students myself Devashish Chakravarty today we are going to solve a question that came in the gate 2019 set 2 that is in the afternoon section the subject is thermodynamics and this is a topic from the air standard cycle that is from the auto and diesel cycle Particularly, this question is from auto cycle. So let's see. The question is in front of you. Let me read the question for you. An air standard auto cycle has thermal efficiency of 0.5, and mean effective and mean effective pressure of the cycle is 1000 kilopascal. For air, the data is given for the air. Assume specific heat ratio that is gamma is equal to 1.4. That is the adiabatic ratio that you call as gamma 1.4, and specific gas constant R is equal to 0.287 kJ per kg kelvin basically data for the air now they are saying if pressure and temperature at the beginning of the compression stroke are 100 kPa and 300 K that is at the beginning of the compression stroke they have given the p and t then respectively then the specific net work output of the cycle that is you look at the unit they are asking in kJ per kg so basically what they are asking they are asking is If you consider one kg of mass, one kg of mass, then through the cycle, how much work is produced? That is per kg of mass, how much work is produced? So now let's see how to do this question. Yeah, to solve this particular kind of question, ऐसे question को solve करने के लिए हमेशा अच्छा रहता है अगर आप TS diagram और PV diagram साथ में बना लें. If you Can uh, draw the TS diagram and PV diagram. Then this type of question becomes very easy to solve because now we are able to clearly see and understand what is happening. Okay, so now they have given that P one is equal to. They have stated hundred kPa, and then they have given T uh, one is three hundred kPa. Okay, so these are all the required data that you need to solve this. That is, they have given to solve the question, and they are asking about the work. Very well. So let's see how we can do this. So first thing, look here. They have given the mean pressure. So from that we know the simple formula is work done by stroke volume. Mean effective pressure is. Work done by stroke volume. Very well. Stroke volume is nothing but this, this volume that is V one minus V two. V one minus V two is the stroke volume. Very well. So stroke volume is V one minus V two. As you can see from the diagram, V one is greater than V two, and between this volume, the piston works. So the stroke volume, the stroke volume of the piston, that is, how much is the piston going to move? Is it will move from V2 to V1 and then back. This is how the piston moves. So V1 minus V2 is the stroke volume. Very well. Now let's see what more data they have given. Efficiency. They have given the efficiency. We know the formula auto is equal to one minus. The formula is one by R raised to the power gamma minus one, where we define R as V one by V two. This is the formula. Nita of auto is defined as one minus one by R raised to the power gamma minus one. That is the R is raised to the power gamma minus one, and R is defined as V one minus V two. This is called as the volumetric ratio. That is V one minus V two. Or compression ratio, or whatever you name you want to give it, you can give it. Name doesn't matter. What matters is understanding the significance, understanding what R actually tells. Now let's see. From this two equation, since they have given nita is 0.5, you can get the value of R. From this, you can calculate the value of R, and the value of R after calculation we get 5.65. 5.65. Now we know this is v1 by v2. We know this is as v1 by v2. 
now let's see still there are two unknowns there are two, two unknowns v1 and v2 but now we can apply ideal gas equation see they have given p1 they have given t1 they have also given r so now we can apply p1 v1 is equal to m r t1 right they have given the value of p1 they have given the value of t1 and now in the question they were asking specific the specific work look at look back at the unit the unit was kilojoule per kg kilojoule per kg so basically hum mass ko ek le sakte hain basically they are asking work per kilojoule and um, work kilojoule per kg so per kg matlab mass is 1 okay so putting mass is equal to 1 substitute the value of p1 and t1 so we will get v1 as 0.8 meter cube standard SI unit use kar raho to v1 we get 0.861 meter cube okay now that we have v1 we can easily get v2 we know what is the value of r we know what is v1 so now we can easily get the volume of v2 and v2 comes as 0.152 meter cube that is v2 is equal to 0.152 meter cube uh, clearly pm give diya hua hai they have given the value of mean pressure you need to calculate the work done and v stroke that is v1 minus v2 you have got the value of v1 you have got the value of v2 just substitute it and the answer will come as work will be 708708.77 kilo joule kilo joule per kg 708.77 kilo joule per kg this is the answer that you will get after finally substituting all of this thank you i hope you have liked this please share it with your friends thanks